how do you choose the right prop for FPV? You might be jumping in and you're wondering, man, there is so many numbers and sizes. What is the right prop for me? If you're wondering exactly how to get the most performance out of your craft or what prop to order, this is, uh, this is gonna be the video for you. So to this amazing website, we're gonna DIY FPV. We have a whole bunch of props right here and you can see there is so many numbers and like 51, 49, tri-blade, five inch, it's just, there is a lot to take in. And I know a lot of people talk about, hey, you just need a five inch prop. First thing we're gonna talk about is the amount of blades. So you will see if we can find a bi-blade prop anywhere here. Tri-blade is probably the most common. Uh, it's a really, really good middle ground. You'll see here, we've got a quad blade prop. And the difference is the more blades you have on a propeller, the more grip you're gonna have in the air, uh, but you're also going to have lower top speeds and it is going to get more drag when it's zipping through the air. So that's where you really need to decide what do I wanna do with my craft. For most craft, for most freestyle craft and even a lot of racing craft, if on a more technical tighter turn track, a tri-blade prop is perfect. Quad is for a little bit more grip. I do like the quad props on my little Lightning, which is a, a tiny little two inch craft. But for most people, something like this is going to be perfect. That's why a tri-blade is sort of like the sweet middle ground. If you get a bi-blade prop, so that's a propeller with just like one prop on each side or one blade on each side, they are best for like high speed, long straights, really, really screaming around. If you have a wing, I think they'd probably be good for that as well because they're gonna get less drag as they're ripping through the air, um, but they're not going to feel as grippy. A lot of pilots started out, if you're in the OG days, the original days of FPV drones, it was all by blade props. And then we moved on to tries, and this is sort of tried and true. It's what, it's what people like. Now, the next thing we need to talk about is the size. So of course, with we have like a five inch, so you can see this is, if I go back here, these are five inch props. Um, these would be little mini props. So here we go, here's a 35 millimeter prop. So a lot of these, it can get confusing, but we usually refer to them as two inch, three inch, four inch, or five inch propellers. So the ones we looked at before, they were all five inch props. This is your standard sort of race drone. You can see they will have five inch labeled in most of the product uh, packaging. But then we have some little things like, uh, these will be some little whoop props. So these, these little things, and these will be like press fit. You can put them on. Generally, uh, you will have a number, so here, two inch. So these would actually probably fit on my Lightning if I was gonna put them on my Lightning. The next part, and probably the most technical part to talk about will be, if I have a look right here, these numbers right here. So we have uh, this, let's read this together. And if you would like to get the best prop out there to find it, the V1S, very popular prop, but there's a five, so it's five inch is gonna be their first number, times this is the pitch, so the 4.5, we'll talk about that number and what that means in a little bit, and then we have three blades right there. So it's a five inch prop with three blades, but then we have this number here, which is 4.5. And you can essentially think of that as the higher that number, the more aggressive that prop is going to be. So you're gonna have a lot more punch, it's going to take more voltage or more current to spin that. It's gonna draw a few more amps, the higher pitched your prop is. And what that number means is for every, this is gonna get technical, but for every one revolution of that, of that propeller is going to move that propeller if it was on an axis that had zero resistance, 4.5 inches. I think that's how it's done. Uh, but ultimately you don't need to know that calculation, just like a, like if we had a five times 3.0, it'd be a very, very light prop. If we had a five times five prop, it would be more aggressive. So we can see if, we, here we go. These would be very, very aggressive props. So a 5.3, so that's a very, very steep angle on the, on the blade right here. Um, we got 4.3, so you can see this is called like, if we just have a even look at the, na the names, the Avan Flow makes it feel like a little bit more juicy, a little bit more smooth, because you can see that's only a 4.3, whereas the gate breakers here, that's a 5.5 um, one. Then we have some other options, which you might notice here, here's a little bit tricky. So this is called a, they could also be named like this. So a 5149, so 
This is actually a five inch prop, but it is ever so slightly, uh, it's like 5.1 inches and I believe, uh, and, a, and a 49. So pretty aggressive prop, which is just a little bit larger as well. So if you're getting a frame where you need absolute zero minimum clearance, be careful. I've seen a couple of times when a frame is only just designed to take a five inch prop, but they've ordered 5.1 inch. It's kind of dumb. I don't really like it. It's made it a little bit annoying. Um, just, just be mindful. Most, most quads though can, can easily take that. Um, 5.1. Here we go. It's just some standard, uh, five inch props. But yeah. Generally that's, that's what all the numbers mean. So I know it can be a little bit confusing. You want to get, a mix between blades, between sizes, and also between the pitch. If you have a lower pitch quad, it's gonna feel smoother. It's going to feel uh, more like flowy. And if you have a higher pitch quad, you're gonna have more punch, you're gonna have more thrust, but it's gonna be a little bit more jittery as well. It's gonna draw a lot more amps. And that's generally how uh, a bit of a bit of an observation in my 10 years of flying on what you what you can expect. If other people have got some some other things, throw them in the comments as well. Uh, Dodge is saying aggressive equals fast and loud. Yes, the, the more aggressive they are as well, I think they're more inefficient. And a lot of that inefficiency, instead of coming out as thrust, also comes out as noise as well. So, all right. Um, Airfield Quads is saying accurate. Uh, imagine a gel, rotate the prop one full turn. Yeah, so that's uh, talking about those pitch and how far it will move um, in terms of inches. 